Hello, Fruit Force. This is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I want to talk about some changes coming, some patch that, and what it's going to allow and change for The Last of Us 2. So let's jump in. All right, Fruit Force, before we get too deep in this, just remember to stay to the end of the video. People stay to the end of the video. Make sure you pay attention to the trivia question. The first person to answer trivia down below properly, get, in other words, gets the answer right, gets the coveted no prize. So just give it your best shot. No cheating, no cheating. So stay to the end of the video. All right, so today I want to talk about Game Informer here. They gave an article, The Last of Us Part Two will get even harder and easier on August 13th. This was released... Once again, by Game Informer, by Joe Chuba on August 11, 2020, at 11.30 a.m. Now, I know this is a divisive game, and I, I've spoken my views on it before. I don't like what they did the story-wise, but I think the gameplay and the graphics are really good. So here's the update. A new post and trailer on the PlayStation blog confirms the previous news about harder difficulty options. Not that the game was really hard, so it might be a good idea. Uh, but also details additional upcoming features in the patch. These include new cheats and gameplay modifiers, like infinite crafting and slow motion. Hmm, slow motion. I don't know what I think about that, but hey, well, whatever. If, especially if it lo adds longevity to a game. What I think the update in the patch we're really wanting is a story change. <laughs> the update hits later this week on August 13th, and you can see what to expect in this video here below. So let's, let's, uh... Should we should we poach this a little bit here? <laughs> Let me turn up the desktop audio so that we can make sure we we're gonna get that okay there too. Here we go. We're gonna do a little screen poaching here. Hopefully, it won't get be flagged or anything. So we want to talk about what we see here and see if this is something pretty cool. All right. Mm, shame on you, Naughty Dog. Right? <laughs> For some of the business practices. Uh, the minimal hunt, there we go. Deadlier enemies, scarce resources, new gameplay modifiers, infinite crafting, slow motion. Yeah, that's the little touch of death. <laughs> Mirror world, new graphics modes. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to care about those new graphics modes. That's okay. <laughs> Makes me scratch my head, but there we go. So that is, and here it is, permadeath. Think about it. I think that one could be good. Right there. Permadeath. I would look forward to that. I think permadeath could be cool. New trophies, don't really care. But, uh, you know, the trophy hunters might, though. I'm not a trophy fan. I, I mean, I don't have anything against trophies. I'm just not one of those people that have to go give every trophy. But permadeath there. I, I think I like that, that permadeath. That, that's going to make it challenging. Don't you dare lose. And you see that graphical change there, too. It looks like maybe... Uh, they're going to make you know more pixelated. I think that could be a little bit cool. All right, well, that's enough of that video there. So anyway, here was the original story published on 8, 10, 20. The Last of Us Part 2 is a brutal game, but not necessarily because of the difficulty. I agree, it isn't that difficult of a game. It has plenty of customizable options that allow players to make certain elements more forgiving, but those same options mean you can make it much harder, much harder <laughs> for those who crave challenge. If you fall into the later camp, which would probably be something like me, then you'll definitely be interested in Naughty Dog has in store for the game's upcoming update. But as I said before, the, probably the saddest part about that update is that the update does not change the story. As tweeted by the trophy-focused folks at Power Picks, the trophy list for The Last of Us Part 2 now includes two new awards under the Grounded Mode category, one for finishing the game on the Grounded Difficulty setting, and one for completing the game with, ready for this, a permadeath setting. Not what I think, once again, I mentioned. I think that's pretty cool. Permadeath in a game like this definitely adds to the eeriness, to, to the tense part of the game. So Grounded Mode in the original Last of Us 2 was also post-launch edition, and it's a intelligent enemies and increased HUD elements like no visible life bar so yes if you play that I did too you notice that you didn't have that and it did make it quite more difficult because you never knew how bad you really hurt if that persists in the sequel along with the inability to continue if you're killed the last of us part two could be <laughs> a rewarding adventure for hardcore fans once again I you know I think they're gonna need it because this game had a lot of trade-ins really fast um, you know, it sold really well, especially at first. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to lie and say it didn't. But people didn't care for the story. So we'll see. 
Sony and Naughty Dog have confirmed a release date for this new patch that adds this functionality, though you can see the new trophies in your PS4 menu already. So, there you go. Uh, what do you think? Is this going to make people want to pick this game up and continue to play it, or is it done? Uh, so anyway, with that said, let's jump into the question. Okay, here we go. Here is the question. What is, in Marvel Comics, what is Avalanche's real name? The Mutant Avalanche. So what is the Mutant Avalanche's real name in Marvel Comics? Once again, first person to get that down below in the comment section will win the no prize. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really does help this little channel grow where we talk about anything comics and game and nerd related. Sometimes a little more deep in depth and sometimes lighthearted, mostly lighthearted and fun. I want to know, will this get you back in playing it? What would you have really wanted to see in the patch? I think I've made my opinions already very clear. I wish the patch would have changed the story, but that would be a drastic game change and not very realistic. All right, well, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it frugal. I want to make sure I take a moment to thank the people that helped make this video possible. I consider you producers of this channel and of this show. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. So I'd like to thank Rat, Comic Boom, Hotside, Warren JV, A Penny for Your Dimes. I also want to thank the people that like to remain anonymous and anybody else that has contributed to this channel in the past. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. If you find yourself in a position you can help and you want to see your name here too as a producer credit, go ahead and look down in the links below. There will be a Patreon, a subscribe star, as well as a one-time donation, and you can see your name up here too. Thank you.